Hi, I'm Steve O'Connor with Midwest Panel Builders, and today we're going to talk about our new IntelliKey system and how it will work for your airplane. So in our quest to uh, keep innovating and trying to bring more uh, options to our customers, this year we've come up with the IntelliKey system. Uh, the IntelliKey system is unique in aviation. There's really nobody else that has it. Cirrus has a version of it, but it's simply just to unlock and, and lock the doors. So what we did is we figured out a way that we could actually start the airplane with it. Now, if you go back to uh, the way that we normally do it, we actually have a key switch here. And, and yes, you have to have a key to start the airplane. However, it's not very hard to actually get behind there, touch some wires and, and make it start. So the new system that we have is going to use a push button. We have a master switch. We're gonna isolate that because we don't want the button to actually control the master itself. That's one of the failure points that we wanted to build out of this system so that we wouldn't lose electrical power in, in the event of a failure of the system. So so that's one thing we really did have to think a lot about are, uh, you know, the different scenarios that might happen and how we could avoid that from happening. So although we do have, um, you know, an, a smart key system, if you will, um, sort of like a car, it's dummied down a little bit just so that we could fit it in with the uh, aviation. So the way that this is really going to work is your master switch has to actually come on and then that will turn on the button. Now, as you see right now, we have the push button. Now, a lot of aircraft have this push button. It's not really that big of a deal, but in most aircraft right now, I could actually push that and it would start. So in this situation, we actually can't. You see the red, the red comes up. That means that it's not ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick a few things on here so that we can uh, show you what's gonna happen here. Uh, but essentially right now when it's red, that means it's, it's no good. We're, uh, we're not going to be able to start. I actually have this hooked up too to our, our test box over here. And on our test box, when we push the button to start, we'll see that Rotax light, it doesn't light up. So that means pushing this button, as you can hear, is not doing anything for the system. The other thing that we have here is I have a, this is my cabin light. So I uh, just wired this up just so that we could do it for demonstration purposes. But what you're gonna see is this light actually um, come on when I walk up to the airplane. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this stuff back down again. And then that way we can give you a demonstration on exactly how this is going to work. So I'm going to here in just a second have Adam come over with the key and I want you to watch this cabin light here because this cabin light is going to come on. So it's really nice feature that uh, we're building into this just like a car because especially at night in a dark hangar, uh, we know that hangars are not always lit up right. So as you approach the airplane with the key, it'll turn on your cabin light. Uh, I'll go ahead and have Adam bring the key in and we'll watch this light as he approaches with the key. The light comes on and now it's off again because we just had it set up for a couple seconds. In a normal situation that would have stayed on much longer. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring power on to the system. The um, light is green, which green means go. We're gonna go ahead and look back at the Rotax start light. And as I push the button, you can see now that lights up. So that is getting the signal or you know, simulating the signal that the Rotax module would have gotten um, and allowing that to start. And that was only able to happen because of the fact that we had the key uh, with the system. So without this, it will not start. Because the system does uh, search for the key and it, it will actually kill the battery on the key. So what we do is we have this actually wired so that it sees the power from the main system. And therefore this is gonna stay green. Uh, that's a nice feature because of the fact that uh, one, if you wanna restart the engine for any reason you have it, uh, but two, it also quits searching for that key. As soon as that turns green, master comes on, uh, it, it will keep searching or quit searching rather for the key so it doesn't kill all the batteries in the keys. So another thing that uh, safety feature, if you will, that is uh, part of this system is the uh, bypass card. So we have an emergency bypass card here that is in case the key itself does not work, whether the battery's dead or, you know, something happened to the key. So I'm going to take the key. I'm going to set it out of the way. All right, so uh, I dropped the key off. I'm going to come back over here, uh, flip the master on. We can see that the button is red again. And again, we have nothing happening with the Rotex start. It will not start. So uh, we're going to assume the key's in my pocket, but for some reason, this just isn't working. So what I do is my card that fits into a wallet, I'll pull that out. 
and I will actually put it up against the antenna for the bypass. Now in this situation, uh, we've actually connected this to uh, the rack itself. So you'll end up underneath the panel. You'll set it right onto the bypass antenna itself. And there you go, it turns green again. The light came on and here we go, we have a start. So that will allow your system to work in the event that the key itself was not detected for whatever reason. So that's a nice feature as well. And again, this fits right in your wallet, nice and easy. All right, so there you have it. That is the IntelliKey system uh, that is out this year now. It's been through the testing, everything's working great. So. Uh, it is uh, available mainstream now. We'll be installing it on this panel. We've got um, Mojo Grips panel coming up. We're going to put it on and a few more. We're also going to have it on our display panel that will be at uh, Sun and Fun if we ever get to that. And uh, if you have any uh, questions about it at all, don't hesitate to give us a call, 810-356-3855. Uh, you can visit us online, contact us through there. We'd be happy to help you out.